Welcome back to another episode of The Nerding Naturalist. Remember that you can find these videos on the Roving Naturalist channel every Monday morning, and that you can watch me and my friends play Dungeons & Dragons on Dungeon Dwellers on Twitch every other Monday evening. While our party was on a shopping expedition in the frontier town of Refuge, our minotaur, Crescent Moon, bought a belt made out of garter snakes. But I was wondering, how many garter snakes would it take to make a belt? Garter snake actually refers to a large group of snakes that all belong to the genus Thamnophis. There are approximately 75 different species and subspecies of snake in this genus. To keep things simple, I decided to focus on just the species, the common garter snake, and I thought this was kind of an odd choice in general because garter snakes are not very big snakes, so it might be difficult to make a belt out of them. So the average length for a common garter snake is about 22 inches, with the max length being up around 54 inches, and garter snakes are relatively slender snakes, so I'm gonna estimate that if you cut the snake down the middle and sort of flattened out the skin, it would be about two inches wide, although a lot of people do not use all of the skin of a snake when making a belt out of it, because the belly scales look different than the scales on the back of the animal. Since the average men's belt is about 36 to 38 inches long and about two inches wide, we would need at least two common garter snakes, if not three, to make a normal men's belt. But since Crescent Moon is a minotaur, his belt would probably be a bit bigger, but I didn't get his measurements. It seems a little inefficient to be using multiple small garter snakes in order to make a belt, and I imagine that the belt would look sort of patchy and weird where the tailor would have to sew together the different garter snake skins. It might be better for that clothing seller in the future if they used larger snakes to make their belts, like this yellow morph timber rattlesnake skin. Just to be completely clear, I am not in any way advocating snake or reptile skin clothing in the real world, but in the rough and tumble world of D&D, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I really hope you're enjoying this mini-series, The Nerding Naturalist. I'm having a ton of fun putting these videos together based off of goofy nature questions that we ask or that I wonder about while we're playing D&D. If you like Dungeons & Dragons, you should totally check it out as my friends and I I play on the Dungeon Dwellers channel on Twitch every other Monday evening. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon because I also post regular roving naturalist videos every Thursday afternoon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.